and comprehensive development of Telangana has become a role model for the country. The state is progressing in a phenomenal manner on every front. Extraordinary success of the state of Telangana is due to the blessings of the people, the skillful administration by the Honorable Chief Minister, the hard work of the people's representatives, and the dedication shown by the government employees. There was a time when the state suffered due to power cuts and darkness across the state. Today, due to efforts made and hard work done by my government, there is 24 hours power supply and there is brightness and light everywhere. There was a time when the entire agriculture sector was distressed today, the state is able to supply food to the rest of the country and has become the granary of the country. There was a time when people used to fight for every drop of water. From there, the state today is able to supply treated and safe drinking water through taps to every household of the state. There was a time when rural areas presented a picture of poverty and distress from that today, Telangana villages are completely transformed and have become models with a very high quality of life. Telangana today is investor friendly, attracts the top class companies and multinationals in IT and other sectors. The state is making rapid progress in protecting the environment and increasing the granary also, the state is getting accolades across the state. My government faced the innumerable challenges to bring the state from a desperate situation to what has become a model for the rest of the country. Lots of uncertainties had to be faced. Obstacles had to be overcome skillfully. In a short span of eight and a half years, Telangana achieved a number of successes. The whole country today is awe of the progress made by Telangana. Today, the state is not only economically strong, but also one of the top performers in the country in welfare and development. Economic development. Due to the enormous effort made by my government, the total receipts of state, which were a mere of 62,000 crores in 2014 and 15, have increased to 1,84,000 crores by 21-22. The per capita income of the state, which was rupees 1,24,104 rupees in 2014 and 2015, has increased to rupees 3,17,115 by 2022-23. to 23. After formation of the state of Telangana, the growth rate of several sectors of the economy has now become doubled to what it was earlier. This progress is due to the focus on capital expenditure by the government. I wholeheartedly congratulate the government for this spectacular progress. Agriculture and irrigation sectors progress. My government has achieved historic progress and stabilized the agriculture sector. We have made history in this sector. People used to say that agriculture was wasteful. From that stage today, we have made it a festive activity. With the supply of free and high quality power, the confidence of the farmers has increased. Mission Kakatya has restored the tanks built during the previous regimes. The pending projects were completed and new and eye cut is added. On a war footing, major, medium and minor irrigation projects were constructed. Check dams were built. My government has built a major multi-level lift irrigation project, Kalishwaram, in a record time of three and a half years. The project has attracted international attention. When the state was formed in 2014-15, Telangana had irrigation facilities for only 20 lakh acres. The same has increased to 73 lakh 33,000 acres today. The government is determined to achieve the target of providing irrigation to more than 1 crore acres of the land. The target also would be achieved very shortly. 
the historic Raithuban world stage. Telangana is the only state in the country which has transferred rupees 65,000 crores to 65 lakh farmers as investment lakh to all the farmers of the state through the Raithu Bhima scheme. The government pays the entire premium under the scheme to LIC and not a single paisa burden is put on the farmer. I can surely say there is no such scheme for the farmers anywhere in the world. There is no need to even send an application under the scheme. In the event of an unfortunate death of the farmer, my government ensures that the entire assurance due to the efforts made by my government for the welfare of the farmers and for the development of agriculture sector, paddy production, which was 68 lakh 70 at all stages. The crop sector distribute contributes 18.2% towards the state GSDP. Now, there is a discussion among the farmers of the country about the agriculture sector development which has taken place in Telangana. Success in electricity sector. When the state was formed, the installed capacity of electricity was 7,778 megawatts only. Due to the enormous efforts made by my government, now the installed capacity has gone up to 18,453 megawatts. The per capita power consumption in 2014-15 was only 1,356 units. By 2021-22, this has gone up to 2,126 units. The enormous increase in per capita consumption of power is a clear indicator of the fantastic progress made by the state. Mission Bagiradha, drinking water to every house. By ensuring that a full stop is put to all the drinking water problems of the state, Telangana has achieved historic success. Mission Bagiradha has been successfully implemented and has ensured that all the habitation of the state get safe drinking water. The un un Union Jal Shakti Ministry has declared in the parliament that there is no fluoride problem in Telangana. Dalit Bandhu Revolutionary Scheme. My government has introduced the revolutionary Dalit Bandhu scheme with the aim of economic empowerment of the Dalit community. The scheme, the scheme today has become like a North Star for the entire country. In the history of the country, after the efforts made by Bharat Ratna, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar for the welfare of the Dalits, this scheme is the only one which is inspired by his work and is aimed as comprehensive development, economic empowerment, and infused with the revolutionary spirit. This is the first time in the history of the country that every Dalit family will get a grant of rupees 10 lakhs. This money is to be used for employment generation by investing in an asset or business. There is no need to repay this grant. In addition to the financial assistance, the government has also established a Dalit Rakshana Nidhi. The aim of this fund is to ensure that no beneficiary sites slides back economically in the case of a setback to the family. Apart from this, the government has also ensured that the Dalits enter in commercial and business activities by providing special quotas in government licenses.